When you hear about something hitting the moon, you probably imagine a meteorite or some piece of space debris. But imagine, for a moment, something far more absurd. A golf ball traveling at an unfathomable speed of 299,000 meters per second. The approximate speed of light slamming into the lunar surface. What would happen? How would it affect the moon, Earth, and even the laws of physics? Today, we're diving into this mind-bending hypothetical scenario to explore its scientific implications, its effects on our celestial neighbor, and what this teaches us about the cosmos. Let's first set the stage. The speed of light in a vacuum is 299,792,158 meters per second. For simplicity, let's round it to 299,000 meters per second. This speed is not just extraordinarily fast, it's a fundamental constant of the universe, representing the maximum speed at which information, matter, or energy can travel. To put this into perspective, light takes just over a second to travel from the Moon to the Earth, a distance of roughly 384,400 kilometers. Now, introducing a golf ball into this scenario might seem laughable, but it serves as a fascinating way to explore extreme physics. A standard golf ball has a mass of around 45 grams or 0.045 kilograms. While tiny at the speed of light, this humble object transforms into something far more powerful, a potential weapon of mass destruction, defying our everyday understanding of how objects behave. To understand what happens when the golf ball hits the moon, we must first consider the concept of kinetic energy. The formula for kinetic energy is one half the mass of an object multiplied by the square of its velocity, Plugging in the numbers, we see that the energy of a golf ball traveling at the speed of light is mind-boggling. Using Einstein's theory of relativity, however, this calculation becomes even more interesting. Objects with mass cannot travel at the speed of light because they would require infinite energy to do so. So, to make this hypothetical possible, we have to suspend a fundamental law of physics momentarily. Assuming we bypass this restriction, the golf ball's energy becomes comparable to that of a planet-destroying asteroid. Its impact would release an unimaginable amount of energy, far greater than the combined output of all the nuclear weapons on Earth. The surface of the moon where the golf ball strikes would be obliterated instantaneously, vaporizing rock and creating a massive explosion visible from Earth. But the devastation wouldn't stop there. The energy released would send shockwaves rippling across the Moon's surface. These seismic waves would shake the Moon to its core, potentially causing structural changes deep within. Depending on where the golf ball hits, it might trigger moonquakes strong enough to alter its geological stability. The explosion would also launch debris into space. Billions of tons of lunar material would be ejected, creating a cloud of dust and fragments. Some of this debris would escape the Moon's gravity, forming a temporary ring around it, while other pieces might even make their way to Earth, resulting in meteor showers or, in extreme cases, catastrophic impacts. From Earth, the aftermath would be a spectacle. Observers with telescopes would witness an immense flash of light at the impact site, followed by the slow dispersal of a plume of dust and debris. The event would dominate headlines and inspire scientific studies for generations. Now let's consider the broader implications. The Moon plays a critical role in stabilizing Earth's axis and tides. A high-energy impact of this magnitude could alter the Moon's orbit, even if slightly. Over time, this could disrupt tidal patterns, affecting ecosystems and weather systems on Earth. If the Moon were destabilized enough, it could eventually lead to long-term consequences for our planet's habitability. But there's another layer to this thought experiment, the quantum and relativistic consequences. At speeds approaching the speed of light, the golf ball would not behave like a classical object. It would experience extreme relativistic effects, such as time dilation and length contraction. Its mass would also increase exponentially as it approached light speed, transforming it into a nearly incomprehensible entity. Moreover, the collision would likely generate an array of exotic phenomena. The intense energy of the impact could create a burst of gamma rays, 
high-energy photons capable of affecting satellites and communication systems on Earth. It might even produce new particles through processes like pair production, where energy converts into matter. There's also the possibility of creating a brief but intense gravitational disturbance. The golf ball's extreme energy density could momentarily warp space-time in its vicinity, producing gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time that could be detected by instruments like LIGO. The event might also provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study high-energy physics in a natural setting. It could offer insights into how matter behaves under extreme conditions, contributing to our understanding of cosmic phenomena like supernova and black holes. This brings us to a broader question. What if similar high-energy events have occurred elsewhere in the universe? Cosmic collisions at near-light speeds are rare but not impossible. For instance, when neutron stars merge, or when black holes consume matter, comparable energies are released. Observing such events can help us unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, from the origins of elements to the behavior of space-time itself. But why stop at the moon? What if this golf ball were to hit Earth instead? The consequences would be catastrophic. The energy released upon impact would dwarf even the most powerful asteroid collisions in Earth's history. It could result in a global extinction event, wiping out life as we know it. The shock waves, heat, and subsequent atmospheric effects would leave no corner of the planet untouched. Fortunately, the laws of physics ensure that objects with mass cannot reach the speed of light. This limitation protects us from such apocalyptic scenarios. However, it also reminds us of the immense power contained within even small amounts of matter when combined with extreme velocity. This thought experiment also highlights the importance of studying high-speed impacts. NASA and other space agencies continuously monitor the skies for potential threats, such as asteroids and comets, that could collide with Earth. Understanding the physics of impacts allows scientists to develop strategies for planetary defense, such as deflection or destruction of incoming objects. Finally, let's circle back to the philosophical implications. This hypothetical scenario forces us to confront the delicate balance of forces that govern our universe. It underscores the fragility of life and the interconnectedness of cosmic events. While the idea of a golf ball hitting the moon at the speed of light may seem absurd, it serves as a reminder of the profound forces at play in the cosmos. From the vastness of space to the intricacies of quantum mechanics, our universe is a tapestry of wonder and mystery. Whether we're observing the moon through a telescope or pondering the hypothetical extremes of physics, each discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. In conclusion, while a golf ball traveling at the speed of light and hitting the moon is a fantastical scenario, it opens the door to exploring profound scientific concepts. It challenges our understanding of energy, motion, and the fundamental laws of nature. And it reminds us of the boundless curiosity that drives humanity to explore the unknown. The Scale of the Impact Beyond the Moon Let's examine the potential scale of destruction in even greater detail. The golf ball, traveling at light speed, is no longer merely an object. Its energy is equivalent to a massive astronomical phenomenon. On impact, the kinetic energy would dwarf the energy released during the most powerful supervolcano eruptions or asteroid impacts in Earth's history. The blast radius on the Moon's surface would span hundreds of kilometers. The impact would generate a crater of unprecedented size, potentially larger than the South Pole Aitken Basin, which is the largest known impact crater on the Moon, stretching over 2,500 kilometers. If the golf ball hit near a critical region such as the Moon's poles, it could disrupt the frozen water deposits that scientists believe are hidden within permanently shadowed craters. These water reserves are considered vital for future lunar colonization and exploration. The loss or contamination of these deposits could set back human efforts to establish a sustainable presence on the Moon. In addition, the energy released would send ejecta, chunks of lunar rock and dust, into space at velocities high enough to escape the Moon's gravity. 
The debris could form a transient ring system around the moon, akin to the rings of Saturn but much more chaotic. These fragments might eventually rain down on Earth, entering the atmosphere as high-speed meteoroids. While most would burn up upon entry, larger chunks could cause localized damage. Theoretical Physics at the Extremes To push the boundaries of what we understand, let's delve into the theoretical physics governing such an event. At near light speed, the golf ball enters the realm of relativistic physics. As its velocity increases, its mass effectively becomes infinite due to relativistic mass increase, a direct consequence of Einstein's theory of special relativity. An object with infinite mass and traveling at the speed of light would exert an immense gravitational pull, even if for an infinitesimally short moment. This could temporarily distort the moon's gravitational field, causing anomalies in its orbit and possibly inducing unpredictable tidal effects on Earth. Moreover, the collision might produce a type of cosmic event known as a relativistic jet. Relativistic jets are typically associated with black holes and neutron stars, where massive amounts of energy are funneled into narrow beams traveling at near-light speeds. In our scenario, the energy released could mimic a smaller-scale version of this phenomenon, creating a burst of radiation observable across the solar system. New Insights into Lunar Composition A high-energy impact of this nature would vaporize and excavate material from deep beneath the Moon's surface, providing an unprecedented opportunity to analyze its internal composition. Unlike Earth, the Moon lacks tectonic activity, meaning its interior has remained relatively unchanged for billions of years. The impact would essentially crack open a window into its geological history, exposing ancient layers of rock and potentially revealing secrets about the Moon's formation. Scientists believe the Moon formed after a Mars-sized object collided with Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. This hypothesis, known as the Giant Impact Theory, suggests that the Moon is composed of material from both Earth and the impactor. If the golf ball's collision uncovered unique isotopic signatures or minerals not previously identified, it could reshape our understanding of this origin story. The Chain Reaction – Impacts on Earth The ripple effects of this hypothetical event extend far beyond the Moon. Earth and the Moon are intricately connected, with the Moon influencing tides, stabilizing Earth's axial tilt, and even playing a role in biological rhythms. A significant disruption to the Moon's structure or orbit could have cascading consequences for life on Earth. If the Moon were to shift closer to Earth due to the impact, tidal forces would intensify, causing catastrophic flooding in coastal regions. Conversely, if the Moon moved farther away, Earth's rotation could speed up, shortening days and disrupting the delicate balance of ecosystems that rely on predictable day-night cycles. Another consideration is the debris cloud. If the impact launched enough material into space, some of it could form an artificial lunar haze that temporarily obscures the Moon. This could disrupt astronomical observations and affect cultures that rely on lunar cycles for religious or agricultural purposes. Observing the event, a cosmic spectacle. From an observational standpoint, this hypothetical impact would be one of the most visually stunning events in human history. Ground-based telescopes, satellites, and space stations would all aim their instruments at the Moon to capture every detail. The initial flash of the collision would outshine any natural phenomenon seen from Earth, rivaling the brightness of the Sun for a brief moment. The aftermath, debris clouds, shock waves, and changes in the Moon's appearance would be studied extensively. High-speed cameras and spectrometers would analyze the light emitted during the impact, providing data on the temperatures and chemical reactions involved. These observations could yield insights applicable to studying other celestial bodies, such as asteroids, comets, and even exoplanets. Cosmic Lessons and Philosophical Reflections this scenario also prompts deeper philosophical questions about humanity's place in the universe. 
The idea of a small object causing such immense destruction serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness and fragility of cosmic systems. It highlights the thin line between stability and chaos in our solar system and underscores the need for continued exploration and understanding. There's also a cautionary aspect to consider. While a golf ball traveling at light speed is purely hypothetical, it mirrors real threats posed by asteroids and other celestial objects. Humanity's ability to detect and mitigate such threats remains limited. Events like this hypothetical impact emphasize the importance of planetary defense initiatives and international cooperation in space exploration. Science Fiction Meets Science Fact The notion of a light-speed golf ball may sound like science fiction, but it's grounded in real scientific principles. Many groundbreaking discoveries began as thought experiments, from Einstein's elevator in free fall to Schrodinger's cat. By imagining extreme scenarios, scientists can test the limits of known theories and uncover new avenues for research. For instance, this hypothetical scenario could inspire new studies in materials science, exploring how matter behaves under extreme velocities and pressures. It might also inform research in astrophysics, particularly in understanding high-energy phenomena like gamma-ray bursts and relativistic collisions. Engineering a Containment Strategy Let's consider the practical implications of trying to prevent or contain such an event. If humanity knew in advance that an object traveling at near light speed was headed for the moon, what could we do? Current technology would be woefully inadequate to intercept or deflect such a high-speed object. However, future advancements in energy-based defense systems, such as lasers or electromagnetic fields, might offer potential solutions. Developing these technologies would not only prepare us for hypothetical scenarios like this one, but also enhance our ability to protect Earth from more realistic threats, such as asteroid impacts. Expanding the scope. What if it happened elsewhere? Finally, let's extend this thought experiment to other celestial bodies. What if the golf ball hit Mars, Jupiter, or even the Sun? Each scenario would produce unique effects based on the target's composition, gravity, and atmosphere. For instance, an impact on Mars might trigger global dust storms, while an impact on Jupiter could produce visible changes in its atmospheric bands. Hitting the Sun would result in a massive release of energy, potentially disrupting solar activity and affecting space weather across the solar system. Closing Thoughts in the end, the idea of a golf ball hitting the moon at the speed of light is a playful yet profound exploration of science, technology, and our place in the cosmos. It bridges the gap between imagination and reality, using an absurd premise to illuminate complex truths about the universe. Whether as a thought experiment, a cautionary tale, or a glimpse into the extremes of physics, this scenario reminds us of the boundless curiosity that drives humanity to explore the unknown. And as we gaze at the moon tonight, perhaps we'll see it not just as a celestial neighbor, but as a testament to the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth, a balance we must strive to understand and protect. <laughs>